YouTube hometown fitness coming through with a quick video. I've had a lot of subscribers uh, back in the day and currently asking me how I take care of my hats. I gotta tell you, man, with my current hats, like the, the newer, like the newer fitted hats and all that stuff, they just sit inside my uh, walk-in closet there on a the shelf. They don't have things sitting on top of them. They're nicely folded and put together as if you would find them on the on the shelf at Lids or wherever hats are sold. Um, you would. That's how they basically sit against each other. All like build to build to build, you know what I mean? And uh, I don't like sit things sitting on top of them to crush the crown on the hat or anything. Um, so they just sit inside the, the closet. You can look back on one of my videos, you'll see them all together. Um, also, when it comes to my true vintage hats, the ones that I spend the most money on are the ones that are the hardest to find, man. Vintage hats are the hardest to find. I don't care about the vintage snapbacks. They're becoming easier to find, but they're super expensive for some stupid reason. I've already gone through that. But with the vintage fitted hats, to find your size, that is the that's the game and that's what I love about vintage hats man it's so hard they're like a rare car um, to come across man they are unbelievable they're one of the, the greatest things I think in my in my opinion I love hats and uh, my vintage hats I love to take care of so this I'm going to show you in this video how I take care of my hats just a little thing that I do it's not even that big actually it's pretty pretty simple anybody can do it um, but let's show you what it is right now Basically what I do is I take my vintage hats, I put them inside these plastic bags. I can fit uh, what are in there, like maybe six or seven vintage hats in there. So you got the, uh, you got one, you got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I got eight vintage hats that I can fit in this little plastic bag. It folds over the back. No dust gets on any of these hats. Um, it stays away from direct sunlight because it just sits inside my inside er, walk-in closet, which is just over there. Um, and, and I try, try to keep them in pristine condition. As you can see, this one here is the oldest one I own, and it still looks brand new. So, to me, Vintage Hats is the game. I love it so much because they have, you have to find your size, which is the hardest part. Um, and, and some rare sizes, like I have a, uh, a 7 and a quarter or 7 and 1 eighth. Um, that's the size of my head, and, and to find them in a vintage is, is pretty hard. I just check eBay to see. But uh, anyway, that's what I do, man. I just put them in a plastic bag, keep them out of the sunlight, keep things from sitting on top of them, uh, from destroying the crown or anything like that, and I just set them back to back to back. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's the best way to do it. And, uh, man, if you're into the vintage hat game, this is what I suggest you do. Try to, try to keep your hats as crisp as they as you possibly can see some of them still have the uh the new era tagging that is amazing man so like i said hometown fitted fitter snap snapper fitted keep them clean keep them crisp pretty simple idea